Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick update video thingy here. Uh, not really an update, I guess. Um, just a cool thank you, quick thank you video um, to Emily Boo again. I know I've been talking about her in like every freaking video uh, lately. I'm really sorry. I'm not trying to. It just when you don't go anywhere or do anything or talk to anybody and then you have dealings with one person, then that one person is all that really comes up. And um, it's her fault, really, because she just needs to stop being so cool <laughs> and awesome. Uh, so uh, I bought this shirt from her um, off Depop, and I really, really love it. It's quite a bit shorter than I thought it would be, but I knew it was a crop top, so I kind of I expected it to be short. And she warned me that if you have any boobs at all, it'll end like right under your boobs. And I was like, oh, I don't really have tits anymore, but I guess I still kind of do because it's quite short. I'll show you guys right here. So yeah, um, before I wear this, I'm going to either A, have to lose more weight, or B, have to uh, see if I can sew on a panel. Well, I can't sew. Have somebody sew on a panel for me, or just wear it over something, um, because it's quite short. But I still love it. Everybody I know, like everybody I've seen online is after this shirt, and Logan doesn't understand it, but, but it does fit me. Um, it doesn't suffocate me or anything. It's it's short shorter on me than it probably would because I'm not a stick, but it's size small, and I can still put it on. Look at how small this neck is, and I was able to put it on. You know, this time last year, I wouldn't have been able to put it on. It would have been like, like this, you know? <laughs> so I'm quite happy that I was actually even able to put it on. It has a zipper in the back. I wouldn't have been able to zip it up, but I, I can. It says creeper on the neckline, and it has creep on the bottom, the very bottom of the shirt, and it um, glows in the dark. And I'm a sucker for anything that glows in the dark. And so once I saw this, when she had it on, she had it on over something, I'm pretty sure, and she showed it, and it just, like, it kind of hugged around the waist area, and um, it just looked really cute and really flattering. And I was like, I fucking want that top. And so I stopped and I took screenshots and I was like looking everywhere online, couldn't find it because they don't really have it. And um, then I saw that she was selling it and I was like, oh, I wanted it, I wanted it, I wanted it. So um, Rowan had sent uh, us a little bit of money to help out um, or not to help out, but just kind of like, hey, you guys, here's some extra money if you guys want to go out or treat yourselves or do something. And we bought groceries with it because everything always goes straight to the house first. And um, I like begged Logan, please let me just buy this shirt because I really, really have wanted it. And so he let me, it was like 15 pounds or something. And um, so yeah, it was, it wasn't too bad. And, um, and then she asked me if she could send me some makeup that she doesn't use with it. And I was like, oh, of course, you know, I, I, I love secondhand stuff. Um, maybe it's because I've always been raised that way. And my mom, she never really bought new stuff for me when I was younger. I always got secondhand stuff, Goodwill stuff. Oh, somebody threw this away, but it's still usable. Here you go. You know, that kind of thing. If she bought me something new, it was usually from like Kmart or Walmart. I never got really nice things ever as a kid. So I'm used to really just using stuff that's already been used and people throw away a lot of good usable shit. I mean, if I drive by and I see something on the side of the road that I can use, I fucking will stop and take it because otherwise it'll get, it'll get trashed. You know, I'm, you can't be too proud nowadays. I'm never proud. I just like whatever freebies or buying it secondhand. I buy, uh, if I can, um, how I keep myself stocked in my makeup is I usually buy the, um, testers. 
because here in New Zealand they have testers for everything which is something that they don't really have in the states probably because people would steal it but here you go to pharmacy and they have makeup and they have testers for pretty much everything and if the testers don't get used or the product gets discontinued they sell it at like 50 percent off which is still 15 to 20 dollars because the makeup makeup is really expensive here like ugh. like this BB cream here this was a tester so it's been ripped off this was a new tester it had a it was completely closed off this here um, probably would run 30 45 bucks so I got that from a bulk lot and that's what I use not what I like but you know you do what you can afford anyway I told her of course it's fine if she sends makeup and um, she sent me this which is awesome like it's a color that I've never really used before jinx it's a kind of browny purpley I tried it on my hand when I first saw it and it just looked brown in this light in this room and I was like oh it's like a brown color but then I looked at it in the bedroom and it's no it's like a purple so I did try it on my lips and it's not actually all that bad so I'll be doing like a video with this at some point um, I'm, I'm doing a review video on the black right now which is why I'm wearing the black um, she also sent me this this is rouge and it's like a kind of ready kind of ready brownie color and this actually doesn't look bad either and it smells like memories it smells like 90s it just has that like old school lipstick smell I love this smell but I really like the color don't get blurry on me I didn't do anything there yeah I really like the color and then she sent me this one which is like purple like a plum purple color and that doesn't look bad either it's kind of sheer I think this would go good with a black I'd wear it with a black and it's kind of funny because when I first started wearing lipstick I, I started by wearing brown brown eyeshadow brown lipstick and then um, black lipstick and then I had like this dark 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 purple like a maroon kind of but less red more just purple color and then I was dating this um, EMT and he told me he was like in 50 stuff and he's like you have black hair you have white skin my hair was all long and black in one length um, and he's like you would look really good with red lips and I tried it it was okay um, it was another option for me but then at the time my favorite color was purple and then later on my favorite color became red and I was like I'm gonna start wearing red lips because I tried it that one time and I started wearing red lipstick and then that's been my staple ever since not saying I can pull off other looks but I I have worn other looks if I'm trying to do artistic makeup or something like that she also sent me these eyeliners here which they don't really I mean they look like slightly used but they don't really look used and they're just black eyeliner like I don't understand why she wouldn't want these but I, I'm so short on eyeliner. This is such a huge help to me. And this, this here is eyeliner pen. It's, you might have remembered in my other video, I said this is what I started using on my eyebrows. That's not really working. And um, well, anyway, it's the felt tip pen. And it also looks brand new. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, because I'm almost out. That's what I have on my eyebrows right now is this stuff. And I'm like, oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was so happy to get this because I really needed it. And then the best thing of all was she sent me this. And it's too dark probably to see it. But um, it's glitter. Like, I'm such a glitter whore. I love everything glitter. And um, I suck at this. But there you go. It's like black eyeliner full of glitter. And I put it on my hand and then I wiped it off. And it's it leaves a glitter behind and that also looks new it feels full and I'm just like oh glitter eyeliner which they don't sell anything like this here not like this and so that was like an awesome surprise in the package and so I was like I'm gonna make a video and I'm just gonna thank her I really want to do something nice for her because she's been just so cool and especially given our our past and stuff who would have thought you know that I'd be looking forward to packages from her and like you know just seeing her little handwriting on on things it's like oh this is so cool and it's I don't know it's just a whole nother world for me and um, I'm just I'm so thankful and I just wanted to make this 
really quick thank you video. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.